I wanted to tell you about some candies that we can use that you can make at home or all you have to do. So the first one is, I wanted to talk about Irish moss, or sea Irish moss it's called. And I wanted to show it to you in its natural form. Um, it can be a bit salty, I mean, gritty, as you can see. Um, this is what it actually looks like for you. And people make gel or they dehydrate it, everything. It has a multitude of minerals in it, very good. Um, that's just one way it looks. Sometimes it looks like this, as you can see, the seaweed, it grows in the ocean and it's taken up. And it comes in a variety of colors. It comes in blue, purple, and green, and white. Um, this brown color, not white, white. Um, what it is, is dehydrated. It's taken out of the ocean and sometimes it's put it on branches in on, in, on the beach and it's dehydrated. That's one way um, that it's done. So, it'll come in like a big bag, sometimes like this, or a plastic bag. I got mine straight from my sister who happens to live in St. Thomas. Um, so, there is gonna be sediment of sand, uh, without a doubt, that you're gonna get in there. So you want to clean it out, rinse it off a couple of times until you get the sand out. What I did is I took it and store it in some water. You can put it in the refrigerator and store it and then it, you know, swells up like this. So what I am going to show you how to do is make some sea moss gel. So you take it and you put it in there. Let's see. Still not gel yet, so we're going to keep going. take this and put this in containers and then what you can do is take every so teaspoons or so with you and put it in um put it in a smoothie put it in a soup put it in a drink whatever you want and there's your minerals so i just have to find a container to put it in i'm going to put this to the side right now so what else i wanted to share with you is making your own facial clay so I have some Venetine clay and I also have some French clay. So what I do is to just kick it up a notch. What I'll do is I'll put uh, some French clay, uh, well I mix my French clay and my Venetine clay together. 
Um, so putting three tablespoons, okay? So what I am going to do for mine, I'm going to put uh, spirulina in it, okay? I'm gonna set it up a notch. This is uh, spirulina, dried spirulina. So of course it's gonna change a different color. It's not gonna be the paste you want. So what you can also do is use turmeric. Um, I used to have dried turmeric, but I just got here, so I haven't dried out my own turmeric. Um, I'm going to be making my own turmeric. This is turmeric, what it looks like in its natural form. So you, you realize that I like to use a lot of stuff for busting out. Um, I make things like my own, these are dehydrated uh, lemon peels that I'm dehydrated and basically take and ground it into a powder with my spice grinder. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. You know what I mean? Like give it really like enrichment and vitamin C. Um, I even go as so far to add uh, cayenne pepper to my facial. Not a lot. Um, the capsules in it is good for stimulation and circulation of the body. Or you can add ginger. There's a bunch of different recipes. All depends on what you want uh, for your face and what you're looking for. So, and also I will add like essential oils to it. Um, I might put lemon, I might put eucalyptus. All depends on what I'm working on. My uh, it's not just for facials, what I take this clay and what I do is I actually use it like for my elbows if I have aches or pains. So those are the different herbs I put in there that helps the bones actually get in there and give the nutrients um, and remove the, the pain a little bit. So for me, I just you know want a little bit more than the average uh, person. So what you can take is some apple cider vinegar. Are you ready? Um, equal parts of it for equal parts of it for your um, your, your clay. Equal parts. So what I do is like this. I measure it out. reason I did that is because I want equal part it to be consistent and all depends because you know I put some other powders in here and if you guys can smell this it smells so good and it becomes like a clay as you can see and you see how orange it is? So what I am gonna do is add some more apple cider uh, vinegar into it. Because like I put lemon in there and I also put some uh, spirulina. And you want it to be pretty much smooth. See how green it is? And I decided to make this today because I was going to do a facial. So uh, what some people do is they get uh, popsicle sticks with theirs and they add it. But since I have this plastic spoon, and I mix it in a glass, I'm gonna use what I have. Or, let's do it, check this out. Or, since you like, if you like me, uh, you know what, I don't even have one. <laughs> 
So I am not like me today. So what I would take this is just basically And this helps detox the body, uh, but I put the spirulina, so it's gonna give my body some nutrients at the same time. So don't be afraid. And so what you're gonna do Keep going. See how that looks? And I pretty much stay away from the real crevices of my eyes. Pretty much. Look at that, and you let it dry. So, that's that one. And you take the rest, and you put a top over it. A little work. And because it's all natural, you know, you didn't see me put anything that was not. And as this dries, it's gonna get a little bit more greener. So, you know, um, just like the turmeric, I make the turmeric uh, for me, which I need to use, is for, um, I have pigmentation, scarring, hyperpigmentation, because of, you know, acne that I've had um, as a teenager, and they said when you get older, it's supposed to get better. Um, it says that when you eat better, that all this stuff is gonna be super magic perfect and it's not. Um, so just for you guys out there, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, so we're, we're gonna, I told you, I'm taking a skin journey. Got my first uh, derma abrasion when I was in the States uh, about two, two weeks ago. Um, make sure it does not get in the in your eyes like anything else. So what I'm going to take it because it is have things in it. I am going to take it and put it in the refrigerator um, to keep it so I can do it. Uh, keep my face going. And it. So there, you'll stay tuned for me because I'm going to show you how to make conditioners like with eggs. Um, keeping your house just like your face you can use um, some egg recipes that's what's going to be coming using what you have around you to make your body work it's good but um, I want to be more economically 
uh, conscious. I also want to support my community, which I live in, that I am an asset, like I said, and not taking from my community. So I want to support my community. So buying lemons or buying the local apple cider vinegar, um, looking for places that I can actually get the clay that I have um, should be easy. Um, there are some places in Mexico that I will be importing because I want to support the country I am residing in and be more of a value than taking from my country. Like I said, um, that's my belief system. So that's what I'm going to keep sticking to. Like certain things and smudging your house. I'm going to show you how to make a, a smudge, uh, a smudge wand stick that I make. I make natural smudge wand sticks. I also make a smokeless uh, smudge sticks to purify your house, to clean your house uh, from odors, from spirits, from energies that are left behind. Uh, these are some of the things I want you to get in cumbersome of. Uh, these are things that you can do yourself if you have the tools. Um, it helps a lot when you have these items uh, from anything, from the water, knowing what to do when your water's here. Um, I'll tell you, my water, my water's not alkaline. They don't have an alkaline. I don't have my kicking alkaline water machine with me. And because of that, most people would say that um, I'm not doing good. So there's a natural way that you can make alkaline water. And I will show you that as well that you can take with you so your body's an alkaline even though you're not here, if the water's not good. In Mexico, they take and wash their fruits with this. It's an iodine that you wash your fruits and produce with so you're not getting the bacteria, you're not getting sick. But for me, I always tell you guys what, if you're moving to a new area, always, 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 what? Get the local raw honey and eat it. And it will improve your immune system. Your body will start adapting to there. Not just with one teaspoon, just start adding this stuff. But for those people that are vegan, what do you do? There's other sources. Look me up and we will talk. So I am Dr. D from Food Alchemy Network. I've showed you some things from Irish Moss. I wanna show you basically how it is really thick now. Look at that. Just been sitting for a while and that is really thick. So you can use this, like I said, in a smoothie, in a shake, in a drink, anything to give you the minerals that you need. Uh, when the bladder wrap comes in from my sister from St. Thomas, what I will do is show you how to clean that, how to use it, and how to use it in cumbersome to them because them together brings a powerhouse. So I use other things in my daily uh, foods to help me. And I'm always, if you notice on my videos, I am doing things about inflammation. Inflammation is one of the biggest things from arthritis to sinusitis, itis. Any T I S is an is, is for me an inflammation. Anything that causes something to stress your body on something isms, um, TIS. So they are not helpful, they are harmful, they detract from the body and not help the body. So these diseases, you want to have them, so this will counteract. So, you know, you have these, this is another one, always a staple. Wherever I go is turmeric, 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 turmeric. Turmeric and ginger are my ultimate favorite having putting them in my food, putting them in, in my drink, putting them in things, a bath. So there's different um, healing decoctions that I'll show you how to make with that. So stay tuned. I am your food. I am from Food Alchemy. I am Dr. D. I hope that I was helpful to you. And as you can see, it is dried more and it will continue to dry. So toodles.